doing? Um, he is going to support the rush. Okay. So the judge is looking at the team comp. Um, what the hell? Someone's trolling. That's not good at all. But I mean, this is still a bronze game. I mean, this is bronze game, so trolling happens. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and look at the team comp now. Looking at their bot lane that they're going against. He's going against a uh, Raka Varus against. Let me see, Raka Varus versus Thresh, MF. I'm gonna go ahead and say MF. Uh, Varus outranges the MF, but I mean, again, what I would do is just make it a farm lane because they're gonna get they're gonna get out sustained by Soraka, and I mean, if Complex lands a couple of uh, hooks. He would have to land them on. <laughs> he would have to land them early, like level one, because once she hits level two, she's gonna be able to heal for like 200 health, and it increases percentage based on how much health you're missing. So, I mean, Lucian's mo really mobile. Maybe he can get away with the jungle, but I mean, I, I wouldn't mess around with it. To watch your spirit fully drop from the time you were a psycho, cocaine, cocaine, crazy. So you want to see the show. You really don't have to be a hoe from the time you were a psycho, be cocaine, crazy. Alright, what's up guys? Thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a Bronze Spectate on uh, one of my viewers' complex. Uh, right now he's using Thresh. Uh, Thresh support. He is Bronze 1. We're going to go ahead and look at his uh, Runes and Masteries. Okay, so starting off with the Masteries, we're going to see, they have a Jungle Lucian, by the way. 
So I mean, he's gonna be trolling, and I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna bother looking at that right now. They're playing against five silvers, against five bronzes. What the hell? And my Mars even though, so must mean these guys are pretty bad. Um, anyways, looking at the mastery support, he's getting plus eight armor, plus four MR, killing MR, and plus forty health. Now, when you go with the Thresh support with his passive, go and take a look at it. He doesn't scale off any armor at all. So, when you go support Thresh, you kind of want to make a separate page for him. And instead of getting armor yellows, you can get health per level yellows, or flat health yellows, or even gold per 10 seconds yellows. But, um, definitely need to plan accordingly when you use Thresh. So, just FYI, the supporting with Thresh. So we're gonna keep our eye on him. Now let's go ahead and read the passive. Uh, Thresh collects souls of the dead by walking near them. Souls uh, permanently grant him armor and ability power. Thresh does not gain armor per level. Okay. So you can start off with armor, but again, I wouldn't buy. I'd rather spend it on something like health per levels. <clears throat> but let's go ahead and see. Already, we can see that their balling got there before, and they're already shoving it in fast. So they will get the level 2. Is there any way I can remove that? How do I hide that? I want to hide it. How do I hide it? I want to hide it. Oh, tab 2 fight visibility. There we go. Alright, so... Go and look at the top lane. What happened there? Go and look at the U. Oh yeah, if she has ignite, that's an easy kill right there. Yeah, that's an easy kill. All right, I'm gonna stay on Thresh now. Okay, yeah, there we go. Gotta go ahead and say like automat. Like we see, they already get level two. They get it roughly around the same time. So. Right there, you might want to use it. Whenever your ADC doesn't have full health, it's always good to proc your passive for Targons. And also do it early, like fast, like as soon as you get there. So you can kind of push up the lane. And because when you're AD, when you're bot laning, it's always a race to see who gets level 2 first. So they're getting zoned out really bad. Let's see. getting zoned out really hard like right now yeah he needs to start not only the not only the big creeps the cannon creeps he needs to get the casters also because she needs health really badly really badly is double negative she just needs health really bad Okay, they level three. Oh, okay, just thresh because he got she got zoned out from XP. <clears throat> like that's a main. Like you definitely need to uh, proc off the Targon's passive. Let's see. The relic shield. It'll give uh, it'll give forty health to uh, M or to MF. So you definitely need to start procing that up. the CS 16 to 18 which isn't bad and here comes Lucian with a gank so let's see if we get the hook got the hook get the flay perfect there's the exhaust and that's actually very well played here comes a nocturne though so if you can land a hook or at least flay him away like here you're in danger so yeah back off and let's see if we can get a hook normally you would just hook just to harass you know you gotta be careful now. He can throw a Q down, and one auto would definitely kill. But uh, definitely a successful gank. Again, Lucian with red buff, he's pretty mobile, so if you get slowed by the red buff, it's actually very effective. But again, I would never do that in ranked, ever. Now he's just leeching XP, so now he's level 5, and like the MF really needs to get some XP. But again, something you want to do is whenever you get a relic shield start, 
as soon as you get to the wood lane, you want to push it out. And she'll have full health, but you still want to proc them anyway, so you can get level 2 faster. Anything after that is you save them until she's low health, and you proc it to get the extra health. Or secure the cannon creek, one of those two. So they're getting zoned out pretty bad. They definitely need to um, get back in this game, but again, Varus got killed, so he beat and took the items. Bears didn't get killed, my bad. He didn't get killed. Uh, Soraka got killed. And she's going AP too. So she's definitely going to hurt. I would suggest getting an early ages for Thresh. Again, Locket of Iron Solari is my favorite item. So I'd always get it. Looking at the uh, CS count, it is 32 to 26. Which isn't too bad, seeing she got zoned out a lot, and she got a kill. Ooh, that was close. So it's not too bad, but... See, like, you got a last hit, man. You gotta get one for the... You gotta get some health in the MF. Because that 40 health can be the difference between dying to a Varus Q and living. There you go. Plus 40 health, just like that. And you can get another one, too. Right there. Ah, uh, you should have gotten it. Let's look at the gold. Alright, she has enough for a BF sword. She's gonna get it. And again, when you're like in lane by yourself like this, you always want to try and secure CS as much as possible. A level 5 Thresh with 50 some AD is one auto attack. Right before the turret hits it, the turret will hit it and it should be left with maybe like 10 health. So if they have full health, you always want to auto it before. Although, with the Flay passive, you'll be able to like one hit him after it gets hit by a tower. Oh man, the synergy fail. Always grab a Thresh Lantern, man. Always. Use your support. Hear it. Again, some decent damage. If he gets the hook, ee, that would have been a nice hook. Go, go, go. Got baited a little bit. That was a good bait. Of course, MF is in, she's just level 5, so. Go ahead and keep her eye on six. He doesn't have his ulti. If MF had her ulti, that'd be a pretty. It would be pretty successful. All right, he got it with the Q. And here comes Nocturne and Goon Squad. Oh, they're all being man. Should push this tower. At least go dragon. Oh. Oh, that's bad, man. One Q. Uh, missed it. Heal. Good job. Alright, let's go back in the thresh. Alright, so he needs to hit six. He can definitely get it. E, get the flay, get the flay, get the flay. Aw, oh, missed the flay. Uh, I would have definitely started that with the flay instead of the hook. I gotta get out of there now. Uh, uh oh. Alright, Lucian got that. Good job. That was a good flay. Uh, great exhaust. You did. You saved him. That was a good job. I mean, uh, the Varus ended up diving him and got the kill. Alright, yeah, with her passive, she'll, she'll get him. Ooh, denied. And now she's dead. The only thing you can hope for is that you don't give an assist to Varus, really. And he got one anyway. There's so much fighting, I'm not even used to it. Alright, so we got the side stone and a pink ward. For the build, perfectly fine. Did he get the Targons? He didn't. Um, something I would do is I'd finish the Targons and maybe get a Ruby Crystal. 
because uh, those extra she those extra Targon procs to give the health to your ADC definitely helps out, especially in a harass lane like Soraka and Varus. Look at the CDR, what does he have? He's at 0%. Yeah, he's at 0%. Oh. That would have been a decent opportunity for a hook right there. Again, sometimes you just hook to show them that you can do it, you know, to back them off. Like, get them to hell back, because, I mean, you, have, you always have the potential to hook. I like, see, it's kind of far away. Like, if you would have landed the hook and flay him away, that would be perfectly fine. That, that's you telling him, like, hey, I mean, I've got the, uh, there we go. Good lantern. Great hook. Awesome. And she uses his exulty. That was perfectly played, man. Again, like let's go back and take a look at it. I mean, the only thing, the only mistake I saw there was bad positioning by MF. Really bad positioning by MF. So, like we see now, he's got double buffs. So you want to tend to stay away, or at least stop getting harassed by auto attacks. Like right there, I would have hooked as soon as she killed that one. I would have hooked, and then the flay backwards. But like, let's see. I mean, he's got a level, he's got a BF sword, and there's some taking harass right there, which is with the taking red, but like, I mean, right there. She's got reduced healing, she waits too long for the ulti, and like, I mean, just take a look at where she's standing, man. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty bad to watch, like, it's sad. Like, look at this. Look at this. I mean, your support's back here, it's not his fault. He's, he's getting the gank ready. Like, you should be way the way the fuck over here. Like, look at this. If this is in bad positioning for an ADC, I, I honestly don't know what it, what is. Okay, this is shit right here. Okay. So, she gets pwned. And Thresh with the great hook, man. Good job on that. Lantern into the man. Get the flay. Didn't need to throw the box down. Something that you need to really watch out for is when you use Thresh is... Um, your box deals decent AP damage. Like, it deals some good damage. So in a situation like that, he could have KS'd it by throwing down the box. You know what I mean? But, um, success. You got, they got two kills. And they got him to the Lucian. So, I mean, he's 5-1-2. Alright. So somehow this shit's working. Okay, there was a fight. So let's go ahead and rewind it back. Alright, did he upgrade it to Targons? Yeah, he upgraded to Targons, which is good. <clears throat> okay. Alright, that's good. I guess that's fair. Like, she's a level behind, so the fact that she got that is good. And again, like, right here, you just want to, like, push the tower in. That's fine. Or just, uh, try and take it. Like, she's not going to deal that much damage. You can definitely take it. Yeah, that's fine. One more. And then just get the hell out of there. It's his MR is at 15, so she's gonna hurt him. And like, he has boots and she doesn't, so early boots isn't a bad investment. Of course, I would go movement speed coins anyway, so... Alright, so we see the incoming gank. He's there baiting, which is great, but he's gotta be really careful. You get the hook. Ooh, missed the hook. Throw the shield so you can get an assist. Throw the shield, throw the shield. The shield, get him out of there. Uh, it was kind of late. Again, even if you just throw it out there to give him a small shield, so you can get the assist. I mean, you got to look for small things like that. All right, taking the pink ward, so you should be seeing that he's there, and he chances are he may have ulti, so you have to back off. All right, they back off. He doesn't have it, but if he did, like you have to assume he does. But uh, good job. A little early, a little late on the lantern, but I mean, what can you do? <clears throat> maxing out Q. I'd max out E for the flayed passive, but um, again, there's nothing wrong with maxing out Q. I would max out Q if I have full CDR. The blues. So it'll come up every seven seconds, I think. Yeah, seven if he landed. 
No, I mean, that's just me, though. So, looking at the gold lead, uh, 25 21k, up 19 to 14, 15 minutes in, two towers to zero. Uh, no dragons taken yet. Again, I would throw a shield there just to get, just to help him out with the shield and just to get the soul. You know what I mean? Oh, fail. Again, this is a bronze one spectate, spectating one of my viewers, uh, Comprex. He is uh, support thresh. Got his Moby's, got another pink ward. I mean, he's doing his job, and he's doing it fairly well. Uh, again, the only reason that maybe they've lost a couple of trades was because that MF was just poorly, poorly positioned. I would have saved the pink ward for there, and then just put a regular ward on the bottom of the tribush. But there you go. Like, what did he do right there? He threw a shield down just to get the assist. That was perfect. But they didn't see his pink ward, so that's good. But, I mean, at this point, laning's over, so it doesn't have that much use, you know? Alright, that was a good ping, saying Jax was there. Yeah, and, like, good job so far. I mean, it looks okay. I mean, he looks like he's doing fine. He looks, I mean, he's having a good game. What's the score? Uh, it's 035. I mean, those three deaths, that's a couple of deaths. Uh, 17 minutes in, it's quite a few more than you want. 015 would, I mean, 005 is ideal, but 015, 025 is okay. Three deaths is pushing it a little bit. So, going up with the rotation top, again, like already out of position. You see the MF in the front, blindly pushing through everything. And let's see if they can jump the E right there. I would ult you immediately there as MF. So you're Thresh, dude. Go in there and flay him while he's healing. Okay. Good flay. Good heal. And, like, there's no need for the box. I mean, like, no need for the box there. Again, like, while you're auto-attacking, go in and flay him, you know? While he's healing. Whenever you have a chance to disrupt his Thresh, you always take it, you know? So, something different you could have done. Just, just go in and throw the flay. Or even hook, you know? Okay, that was a good uh, that was a good thing to do. I mean, it was a blessing in disguise because that right there, the Jax is coming, so that's gonna turn into a triple kill probably, or not. So if he would have landed the hook, I think he would have baited the team, you know. All right, good ward, and they're gone. And the Moby boots just got activated, so he is gone. What? <laughs> Again, just a misuse of the box. I think that's the second time. You just gotta, just gotta increase the, not increase. You just gotta use your heads a little more, debating on whether or not to use the box. I mean, the Yi had 200 health, and you saw that he had already used his uh, little healing power shit. So you didn't even need to throw it down. I would, I would have ulted him as MF while he was healing, because you would have taken the blue buff and got him pretty low. So. Anyways, looking at the build, let's see what he does. I think he finishes face of the mountain. Yeah, he finishes face of the mountain, which is good. The double will kill him. Oh, that's like that's a mistake, man. Oh, it's not. Never mind. He queued it. Oh, that's a dive. That is a dive, man. Oh wow, the bronze dives, man. Actually, they're silver. That was still a horrible dive. Oh man, too funny. Oh, he went sword of the occult. Okay. Can I show all chat? I really want to show all chat. I really want to show all chat. Please, show me the all chat. Show all chat. Why isn't it working, man? I want to see the all chat. Alright, he's going to kill it. That's an easy kill. Who would have thought Lucian jungle was real? Apparently in bronze, you can jungle with Lucian and get away with it. Dude, if I was if Lucian went jungled against me, I'd invade him at red buff and just pwn him. Oh, 
Oh man, this spear. Come on, peel, peel, get the flay. All right, a uh, flay would have been a little more safer than the than the uh, Q. It's easier to hit, you know what I mean? I just tank him, but that's fine. Also, you gotta remember to activate the face of the mountain. You know what I mean? Because he had it there. He could have done it. I mean, of course, what's his name didn't die. Ziggs didn't die, but I mean, it's better to be safe than sorry. You know what I mean? Again, like right now, dude, you're as Thresh. You gotta be in the front lines, dude. Like what that Nidalee is doing. You gotta be up there and you gotta be throwing hooks out. You know? I know, okay, Lucian just went in. You gotta follow him in. Good Lantern. But again, you're, you're Thresh. You're the front line. You're the hard initiate. So if you land a hook, and you zone people. Just being Thresh zones people. Because if you land a hook, then you like, I mean. Oh, that would have landed, so that's good. Get a flay, get the flay. Lay him away, buy some time. Again, like, you zone people as Thresh. Uh oh. Ooh, the damage. Get out of there. Jeez. Look at this out of position MF, man. I would have jumped all over the MF. Don't chase the Ziggs, dude. The MF is right there looking at you. Yeah, just go ahead and get on her. See, and then Ziggs is there too. I mean, uh, what's his name? Ye? Like, that's just an out of position MF. The ADC isn't, isn't that well. Like, she's not good. Um, what is he getting next? I think he's getting a Gauntlet next or a Frozen Heart. A Frozen Heart is actually a great idea right now to get against, I mean, Varus. There's, their entire team are, is auto attack based, with the exception of <laughs> Soraka. So Frozen Heart is definitely a good buy. Again, what I would do is I would tell Nidalee to get a Frozen Heart, and I would get a Locket. That's what I would do, because you look at the Nidalee build. Um, Nidalee's going um, tank. Now she is, but I tell her to get a frozen heart. So good game so far. Laning phase was fine, with the exception of being out of position a little bit. That's the only thing holding him back, really. So you can tell because Thresh has eight assists. He has eight assists and MF has four kills. So. Dude, Sword of the Occult, Lucian, man. You saw it here first. 12 stacks. Yeah, he hurts. Alright, so... Ziggs with the armor? Where is he going? Oh, Ziggs is going Frozen Heart also. Which is actually a decent idea. Like, he's gonna be tanky. Again, if you wanna go defensive, you can just get Zhonya's, you know? But I mean, this dude's, this bronze taking it to a whole new level. Get the hook, get the hook. Ah, uh, yeah, anticipate, always anticipate. Again, I'd be diving that man. You got him pinned out, just dive it. There you go. There you go, yeah, good idea, man. Great idea. Alright, they're chasing the bears. Yeah, they should go in on that. Oh, great save, man. But again, activate the face of the mountain, dude. Give him that shield. You gotta help him out. It scales off of your max HP. So, and you, you're doing pretty decent with the HP, man. Don't forget to activate it. Again, I mean, if you don't activate it, there's no point in buying it. Like, always remember to proc the passive on minions. Activate the shield, you know what I mean? So, just a couple of things you can fix up on is, one of those is definitely it. Like, face of the mountain and the thresh boxes. Okay. That was a great hook, by the way. That was a, that was a clutch hook. Saved the Lucian's life. Also, early home guards isn't a bad investment. Like, instead of the, the vest, I would've gotten home guards. I mean, you're pretty tanky right now. What does Lucian have? Does he, does he have Lucidity Boots yet? Yeah, he has Lucidity Boots. So he knows how to play Lucian, obviously. Mm 
Again, if you have that item, use it, man. Oh my goodness. Why are you trolling me, man? Why are you trolling me? He probably meant to sweep, but he did it wrong. Alright, misuse of Thresh Ultimate. <laughs> Something you need to work on, bro. Alright, so... Get a hook. He didn't even need a hook. Hook on the Varus. Hook on the Varus. Hook on the Varus. Awesome. Come in with the flay. Perfect. Perfectly played. Again, face of the mountain, dude. Activate your shield. I would. That's why I turn on Smartcast. You know? So I can just, like, click on... I don't even need to click on anything. I just press the key. And it'll activate the shield. Uh, there you go. Activating it. Yeah, he's dead. Didn't get an assist for it though. But again, like just throw the shield down or something. Oh my goodness. She hits hard, man. She hits fast. I always want to get that Triforce proc. But again, flay, flay, flay. Get the flay off. Activate the shield, buddy. There, he got the shield off. Great. You can get a hook now. There you go. The flay. Now throw the box. Good shit, man. Perfectly played. Let's do, let's watch that again. Cause I kind of went off channel for a little bit. Okay, so she flashes out, which is good. Again, you can stop that with a flay. You're gonna keep him from going there. Anyways, good job. With the shield, definitely helped him out. And then, right there, he wasted the Q without stunning. So, great hook, great flay. And then, like, again, good exhaust, man. Exhausting EDC always. Getting the little shield there. I mean, that's perfectly good. That's that's perfect, man. Now I know, you like, his, the ultimate was on cooldown, so I can see now. Anyways, let me slow that back down to one. Probably gonna be GG because Nidalee's bot. He's coming in hot, but I don't think he can do anything about it. Ooh! The clutch! Uh oh. Uh oh. Shield. Oh, lived. Good hook, man. GG overall. Um, great scores. 16 assists. It's great, man. Good job. Ideal. That's ideally how you wanna go. The only thing I'm gonna tell you to do differently is. Um, proper use of your ultimate, so because some people, some it'll be used to KS, okay? Like they'll only have 300 health, and you'll throw it down. If your ADC dies in a trade, then throw it down. Okay, use it as a last resort. All right. Like if they have, if you hook them and they have full health, then throw the box down, and then flay them into it or something. But don't do it after you've already hooked them and flayed them. Don't lay it down after, because it's just gonna have the possibility of KSing, you know? But, um, that was a great job. Ult uh, overall, a great game. Again, just a misuse of the thresholds and face of the mountain. I think I only saw you active.